Bryce. I'm in the studio. Um, I just wanted to share with you that I made a 5.1 mix down file in Logic. So go to Logic. Um, open recent, open the 5.1 template. It may just pop up. Um, I've set it up in 5.1 already for you. Um, what you want to do is make sure that the Mackie is set to 5.1 logic. I created a new template in that as well. So as long as that's on, everything's on, um, this should connect properly. If, if for some reason it's not connecting, go to preferences, audio. Make sure that the output device is the 003 rack. And then here's the I.O. assignments. Left is 1, center is 2, right is 3, left surround is 4, right surround is 5, um, and then the LFE at this point is 8, but I'm having trouble with LFE, so I'll get back to you on that when I can talk to Dr. Suzuki. Um, so I also have put in a, a helpful track where I've already automated um, a surround pan. So if I look in the panner, You'll see it's a surround pan and it's automated. So when I hit play, uh, it starts to move. So you can check to make sure that it's going through all the different speakers. If you didn't hear me well, uh, you can check to make sure that it's panning around to all the speakers um, by just pushing play. Um, then when you enter in uh, a new track for your, when you go to new tracks, make sure that the output is surround. Uh, hit create. There you go. Um, the panner is in the mixing section here. There's also a panner right here. Um, there's also one over here. They're all the same. Okay. Um, and then get your levels the way you want them. They're all sent to the master channel. So the master channel, uh, when you're ready, you can hit just go down here to where it says B and C, E, and bounce that. And when it pulls that up you want to make sure it's a surround bounce um, make sure it's on PCM wave 24 bit or 16 bit whichever is fine make sure it's on split because this is going to give you the stems an interleaved uh, file is not going to help me very much because I need to make sure the sim stems are separated so I can enter them into a video file um, you may or may not want to normalize it it just means it will take it up to a certain volume um, if you real-time do it, it's going to do a little bit better job, but it just takes a longer time, and you can bounce twice, which is even better. Offline is just going to be even faster. Make sure that you set your ending mark to whatever measure your piece ends on up here on the timeline. Mine looks like measure 30, so I'm going to do that, and then hit OK. It's going to ask you where to bounce it uh, and what the title is, bounce it. Um, it's super easy. So now, when I go to my desktop, I have, aha, uh -huh, it's already titled for me. It even has an LFE. So, super good. Surround, center, left. And so it just, the project title of your name, um, and then upload that. Okay? Um, if you have any questions about it, let me know. It's super, actually, really simple in Logic to do this. So that's cool. Um, I think I already mentioned this, but the LFE is a little bit tricky right now. You can send channels to it in your panner right here, the LFE level. Um, you can also turn down the center channel if you need to because the center is closer to left and right. Um, whatever, that's fine. But the LFE, if you do send levels to the LFE, it may not show up in the subs right now. So I'm going to ask Dr. Suzuki and see what we can do about that. Okay? Um, any questions, just text me or call me, um, and we'll get it figured out. Thanks a lot.